Wow, cool, awesome, ah. Hello, welcome back to my channel. It is a new view because I finally got a tripod, aka I've actually had a tripod for like a long time, but <coughs> I lost that little connector bit that you need to put like between the camera and the tripod, so I had to find that and now I found it so I can actually use my tripod and film with a way nicer angle than me sitting on my bed. So I'm now standing up. Um, <laughs> anyway, this week is a Q&A video. I decided to do something different. I've actually already done a video this week. It just went up on Wednesday. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. I will link it down below. But um, <laughs> basically, I'm filming another video in a week. Um, I filmed quite a few videos, but they're all going up scheduled. This is a random sort of video and uh, this is a Q&A because I thought people don't really know that many actually people know a lot of things about me but there's a few things that people ask me quite often slash uh, people think things that people want to ask me I don't know I don't think people want to ask me things but I got a few questions mostly from my friends thank you friends um, and I'll just answer the questions for you but first of all I decided I'll do like a little segment on um, just a few little facts about me because why the hell not? So first off, uh, I got a lot of this and it is definitely because I speak Japanese mostly uh, to an extent, <laughs> well enough to get by in life um, and because I pronounce a lot of things via like a Japanese sort of thing and basically people pronounce my tag name wrong, my gamer name, my cosplay name wrong because I guess I don't speak Japanese. I, I think that's just basically it. Um, basically what I'm trying to get at is my name is Kitasai, not Katasi, not some other, I can't think of anything else people say, but Kitasai, pronounced like this. There's a little cute little thing for you, in case you want to pronounce my name right. Uh, it's not trying to be rude or anything, I just feel like a lot of people don't know how to pronounce it and I just hate having to correct people, but I understand why it's hard. Anyway, um, also my name is Ellie slash Ellis, I am 20, not 19 years old, and I am from New Zealand, so that is all I have to share with you today. Uh, let's just get on with my Q&A. The first questions I have are from my cosplay Instagram, I guess you call it. I have like four Instagrams, three Instagrams, plus two other random ones that I'm not gonna really talk about. My main one is Ketosai Cos, which is my cosplay one, and it's my one with the biggest following, I guess you'd call it. Um, it is where I post all my cosplay work in progress, my cosplay stuff, and basically if you uh, want to check it out, there is a link down below for it. Um, and I got quite a few good questions, so let's get right on into it. The first question is from Nicolette, and it says, oh, should I say under your bed? Uh, and it is, who is your daddy? I think we all know who my daddy is. Uh, <laughs> joking. I don't have a daddy, I am the daddy. I actually got uh, given a Father's Day cake for Father's Day, so, you know. Next question is from Charlotte's Cosplay Co, who is a New Zealand cosplayer who I love so much. Uh, what is your biggest tip for up and coming cosplayers? I don't know if I'm like qualified to answer this question but a lot of it is just sticking at what you know, sticking at what you feel comfortable with and don't do things for other people. I don't have the biggest following because I don't go out of my comfort zone in terms of shoving myself in people's faces. I am very much, I want to grow my audience, audience organically and via people sharing me slash just I'm not too focused on being like the biggest hottest thing out there I just kind of do my own thing and I think that's really important for an up-and-coming cosplayer because I'm by no means big at all like I, but um I guess just for me the way I've grown my uh, audience not that it's too big is by being true to myself sharing myself on pages uh, doing cosplays that I want to do for myself versus for other people which I struggle with because I see cool groups and I want to be in the group so I'm like I don't even like that thing, why would I try to be in that group? That's basically me, I just be myself, be yourself, don't do what other people want you to do. Next question is from Mallory.jh, who is Mallory, another New Zealand cosplayer, these are all New Zealanders basically. Uh, what's your favourite thing about each genre of cos character you cosplay, uh, such as gaming, princesses and superheroes? Uh, well my favourite genre to cosplay from is gaming, mostly League of Legends, but uh, in terms of my favourite thing about each genre, I just feel like each genre has such cool different things that can also be brought in and like mixed together like there's so many genres in gaming cosplays and there's so many genres within like superheroes and anime and that sort of stuff and I just really like doing things that appeal to me. I really really like big puffy dresses or just dresses in general, a lot of sewing and I like how my favourite genres like give me that option no matter what with a little bit of hard skills in it such as like armor and stuff like that so I guess if that makes sense I just I don't really know I just really like cosplaying. Uh, Gabu.exe said exe, exe, I don't fucking know Gabu. 
Uh, who's your number one hair and makeup bitch? Well, we all know who that is. Uh, Gabby is an amazing person. She does my hair and makeup for a lot of my cosplays and stuff. As you can see in my sands, she did my hair. I did some of the makeup, but she did most of it because she's awesome. She also asked, what's your favorite medium to work with? I love working with fabric. Does that count? I'm gonna count it. I love fabric. That's why I do textile design. In fact, I love knitting, but I don't really bring that into cosplay because I find it hard. But if we're talking about my favorite medium, I absolutely love fabric. I cannot explain how much I love knowing about fabric, learning about it, and just, it's such an interesting, vast world of knowledge that people don't realize is amazing and huge. Next question, again from Gabby. Wow, Gabby, thank you. She asked like five questions. Uh, what do you do to help pass the time while con crunching? I watch YouTube channels, I watch YouTube videos, and I watch British TV shows like game shows and stuff. I'm kind of weird. <laughs> but mostly I watch things in the background. I don't have to watch it. I like to listen to things. But I don't like listening to music because I start singing and get distracted. And is there anything new cosplay related you like to try out sometime? I'd like to try more of the Wilbur things and more thermoplastics but it's not really big on my thing and I'd also really like to be able to try some of Yaya Han's fabrics but they're not available in New Zealand so I'm not going to be able to try them which is really annoying but I'm, <laughs> I'm not too fussed like I would like to do 3D printing one day in my life but it's not big on my radar of things to do because it's just not me so I'm kind of content with how I am right now. Moving on over to my reading Instagram which is Kita Sai Reads because I read books a lot as you can see although I haven't been reading recently that's beside the point. I got asked two questions on maybe three questions on this. Uh, three questions on this so let's just go right into it. First question is again from Under Your Bed which is Nicolette my babe. Uh, she said, who's your favourite child? I think we all know who my favourite child is. It's uh, Con16, this plant. This is my plant that I named Con16 after I drew my head and it is my least favourite plant. It is so ugly but it's cute and it's grown the most. It's so tall. Next question is from Maya Christie, I hope I pronounced that right, over on my book Instagram again and said, who is your favourite female lead in any book? That's a hard question. I don't, I think I have quite a few but I think most recently it will have to B no I can't think of anyone right now. Give me give me a hot minute. Um so it took me a little bit to think about it, but I've decided that my current female favourite female lead is Katie from the Illuminate Files. I just when I was reading this I really enjoyed Katie as a character. She's really badass and really different from the typical female lead and she kind of just fucks up a lot of things in her life to save the person that she loves and it's kind of a fucked up story and it's crazy and it's amazing and if you haven't read Illuminate you probably should and I have not read the ones after it so I probably should do that too. And my next question before I move on to my Facebook questions and my Twitter questions is where I asked is from the Squid Art who is Bay. Um, he asked where do you say, see yourself in five years? Um, I see myself probably failing at life. No I'm joking. Uh, I don't really know, I haven't really thought about it. I know that I'm gonna probably still be doing stuff in cosplay, hopefully full time if I could, probably not, but um, other than that, I don't know. I know that if I work with my uni things, I will be working in the knitwear industry if I can, otherwise, I don't know. Hopefully doing something arty, because that's what I love doing. And over on Twitter, I got asked by Ryan, of all people, uh, why is Ryan so good at literally everything? It's because he is my twin and I love him. Uh, yeah, there's, there's that answer to that question. Thanks, Ryan. And then finally, my very last question, while I try to find it on my phone, is from Facebook. I think I actually have two questions on Facebook. I'll find it anyway and I'll answer it because I'm a good person. From Mars over on Facebook and it is what got you into cosplay to begin with? What was the one cosplay that got you motivated to create your own? That's a really good question because if you don't already know I've been cosplaying for quite a long time. I got into cosplay because I've been attending Auckland Armageddon in particular my whole life basically since I was like three or something. Maybe a bit older than three. Um, and I've only missed out on one Auckland I'm getting in that time since I've been attending, which was when I was like seven or something like that, maybe eight. It was 2007, and I, that was older than seven then, Alice. You need to learn how to count. But I just, I've always been surrounded by it to an extent. Like, it wasn't very big when I first started going to cons, but it's been growing and growing. And then I just kind of, I just wanted to not fit in. I just, I love cosplay because I love characters and I love making things and therefore it's just kind of a matter of time before it happened in my life which it happened quite young compared to a lot of people who are just getting into it now but um I just kind of got into it because I've always been surrounded to by it by to an extent where I can't speak English and the cosplay that got me really into making my own cosplays is probably probably my Weeping Angel which is one of my very first cosplays but 
It took a little while after that, like I had Thresh and I had Udi, which I made on my own, my very first own cosplay. But it wasn't until that year where I made, where Thresh and Udi were done, which is 2014, where I really, really wanted to make my cosplays on my own because I used to rely on my mum a lot, which is not a bad thing. Mum knows how to sew, she's pretty damn good at it. But um, I, <laughs> time management is not her biggest thing. Love you mum! Um, and therefore I struggled a lot with getting my cosplays done on time, not because of my own fault, because of hers, and so I decided to learn on my own, which is why I'm self-taught on everything basically. Um, and that's why I started making them on my own, mainly because of time management. And then there's me right now, five weeks to Auckland I'm getting and I haven't really finished any of my cosplays. Yay! I'm so unorganized this year. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's, I talk really fast. It's because I'm in a rush. I'm always in a rush. I just talk really fast. It's like a Kiwi thing to talk fast, basically. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys all next week with another video. And I hope you uh, have a good week. Bye. See you guys all later, I guess. I don't know. Probably won't see you ever again. <laughs>